Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my sheet mask that I used during the month of December. So this would be my last sheet mask for the um, year of 2018. So anyway, if you missed my total um, sheet mask, or not, not that. <laughs> okay, Woo, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, let's start over. If you missed my total, my last empties of 2018, I did at the very end of that video um, my totals for the whole year, and I had kept track all year long. And of course, I didn't bring my notebook in here. Um, but anyway, for the whole year, including these, I had used a total of like 312 sheet masks for the whole year. So I did some major uh, masking this past year. So anyway. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, the first one I have sitting here on top is this one here, and it's Secret Nature Moisturizing Rose Mask Sheet. And it looks like this here. And I'm not really for sure where I purchased this at. I'm gonna say it was probably TJ Mask, TJ Mask. See, I always wanna say that, TJ Ma Mask instead of TJ Max. So um, nothing's changed from 2018 to 2019. <laughs> I've seen this little post on Facebook just a little while ago that said, um, I've already messed up, so it um, looks like 2020 is going to be my year. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be my, mo my motto. <laughs> Doesn't look like 2019 is going to be my year, and we're what, in day three? <laughs> so anyway, um, I didn't really care for this one. It was really, really... Um, very, very um, liquidy and drippy. That's it, very drippy. And I didn't, I don't really care for them being that drippy. And the smell was okay. And that's the reason why I bought it is because I like rose and it was okay. But I don't, if I was to see these again, I wouldn't repurchase them. Not saying that they were just a bad one, but I was going to see if I could see who. It is a Korean mask. Uh, I was gonna see if I could tell what brand these are, but I can't, but anyway, so. And then I have the, by Wish Trend, Wish Trend, the Panda Eye Essence Mask. I don't really care for these, but I have several of them that I need to use, and I'm going to do that, but I will, I won't repurchase those. Now this one I did like, and this was from Leaders, and it's the Aqua Advanced Facial Mask. Um, this came in one of my Pink Soul boxes, and I did like this, so if I ever get to a point where I need to purchase a mask, I would consider getting one of these. I like the leaders that are this type of leaders. I like the leaders brand, they're good. And then from Tony Moly, I have the I'm Real Rice Mask Sheet um, for clear skin. Any of these Tony Moly's that are like this are good, and if you've not um, done any sheet masking, these are a good gateway to get started. They're very easy to find. You can find them at Ulta um, or at TJ Mac, TJ Mask. See, there I go. TJ Max, Max Marshalls. I'm just going to start saying Marshalls because they're owned by the same company. So anyway, you can find them at Marshalls. <laughs> I just say TJ Max because I have a TJ Max that's like five minutes from my house. Probably not even five minutes. Like two minutes from my house. Anyway, and then Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask. And this one is for poor care, cooling effects, and um, bamboo charcoal sheet. This one is a black sheet mask. The sheet itself is black. It's really thick. It has some really thick essence, and it's for calming, like it says. Um, it's very soothing, just like it says. Um, very hydrating. I don't know what else I can say about it. It's very nice. It was a very nice um, sheet mask to use. The sheet itself was like a really thick one. Um, it stayed put. It fit well. Um, it did not irritate the skin. Um, I liked it. And I have several of these because I actually... Um, 
because I'm a I'm, I'm actually a Wish Trend affiliate, but I don't really you know promote that a whole lot. And I had posted an Instagram post, and when I did that, they sent me some of these for free, like like five of them or something like that. So I have some to use, and I like to use these, especially if I've done like an acid treatment and my skin's a little bit raw and irritated from that or if I've over exfoliated then this is really good for that so I do like to have those and then nature love the rose petal eye mask these I do find these at Marshall's or that T word that TJ place <laughs> I find them there and they're good I do like those they're very hydrating so those are good and then this one, I know this is from the face shop, but this one also came in my um, pink soul box. If you're not for sure what a pink soul, what I'm talking about, it is a um, Korean skincare subscription box that I get, and it's bi-monthly, so I get it every other month. And I think my next one will be coming up in February. And each one of my those boxes will come with a couple of sheet masks. They do have one that is a monthly box that is sheet mask that you get every month. So if you're new to sheet masking and you're not really for sure what kind to get or where to get them at, you might think about maybe signing up for that box because then you would just have some sent to you automatically and then you can try all various types of sheet masks. But this is the face shop olive and of course olive is very hydrating it's very nourishing to the skin and i very much enjoyed using this especially this time of year um, my heat just popped on and here in this house it's an older home so the heat vents are up on the walls so the my heat vent here is like right up there on the wall and it's just like coming right down at me right here on my face instead of being in the floor so definitely like to have these because in my bedroom the way our bed is positioned um, that vent is right there on my side of the bed and at night you know of course that heat is blowing right on me during the summer I love it because then the AC is blowing on me and I, I love being chilled at night um, which I will tell you um, during the winter and my husband he doesn't really like this but I turn my heat down to about 64 62 at night so it doesn't pop on a whole lot but the morning time ooh, it sure does make for a chilly house when you got to get up <laughs> get ready for work he's like well I can't tell you what he says but it's pretty cold <laughs> the morning time but um so Anyway, I have that. And then I do have another tea tree uh, mask. This is from Naster. I've been fighting a pretty good size little demon right here from a product that you would have seen if you watched my product empties. Um, I was trying to use up a product because I don't like throwing products out that I haven't used. I like to use up my stuff because you know I spent my money on it. But it sure did break me out. Caused one of those really, really, really deep cystic acne spots that just don't want to go away. So I've been using some tea tree. And I like having those in my, um, my backups of sheet masks. And the Naster brand is a really good one. And then I have by Wish Trend the Hours Long Moisturizing Gauze Sheet Mask. And the reason why it's called the Hours Long doesn't mean that you have to leave it on for an hour. Um, you can leave it on for 10, 15 minutes. Um, but this one, you can definitely leave it on for 30, 45 minutes, an hour. And it's not going to dry out because it does last for a really, really long time. And it's very, very hydrating very hydrating so if you have 
oily skin, you're, you're probably not going to like this. But if you have dehydrated skin, dry, parched skin, mature skin, you would probably like it because it's definitely hydrating and it's definitely a bigger size mask that kind of goes over the whole portion of your face. And I really, really do like that. And I have several of those and I really just kind of wait until winter time to use those. Yeah. And then I have this one from Revive, and it's the Extra Fermi Mask Collagen Plus Egg Yolk. And this is a dupe for the Too Cool for School, um, the egg um, sheet mask. But I can't find these anymore. I had got this at Marshall's, and I would have liked to have gotten some more. And if I ever see them again, I would pick up some more because I think they work just as well as the ones from the two cools for school but they were a lot cheaper this one was a dollar 99 but I haven't seen them since and of course I can't find any place online to, to order them so if you see these in your local Marshalls or the TJ store then you might pick them up I would recommend them they're good then I have another one from the shea, the face shop, and this is the shea butter one. Again, a very good moisturizing uh, sheet mask. And again, this one came out of my pink soul box. A Tony Moly one, and this one was the peach one. Very much enjoyed that one. This one was for hydration, vitalizing on that one. Another Tony Moly one, and this is the cactus mask. And this one is for purifying. So I have a purifying one. Then from Peach and Lily, I have the Good Skin Day for Drench and Nourish. So that looks like that there. And I've got this one from the Peach and Lily website. But um, Ulta is starting to carry some of the Peach and Lily products now. But I'm not for sure if the sheet masks are on there yet. Another one of those um, by Wish Trend, the Panda Essence Mask. This one is the Spa Scriptions, the Moisturizing Under Eye Pads. This one, again, was found at um, TJ Maxx, and they are in, they're actually not sold individually. They're in like a box, and I had a couple of those that I used. I think that was it. These are very hydrating, and there's enough essence in this that if you were to open them up and use just a little pad underneath, you would have enough essence then to use the essence maybe the next morning under your eye or if you use this little pad uh, let's say you did the mask uh, let's say that morning and then you use the rest of the essence then that night it won't last that long there's enough in there to do it that way then I have from Van Nido the beauty friends and this is um, the firming nutrition and it's all in um, Asian print, I do believe. Well, let's see, what does this say? It's where it's toward. Uh, I can't make that out. Anyway, it is um, snake venom. Snake venom um, sheet mask. I don't really remember what the snake venom is supposed to do. I'm going to assume it's for firming. So anyway, I've had one of those. And then I had another one of those um, Revive um, Extra Hydrating Mask that I like. And then I have, finally, I'm pretty sure, unless I just absolutely have one hiding somewhere, I'm pretty sure this is the very last of my Martini Mask, and this was the Chocolate Rejuvenating Collagen Mask. And that's what that looked like. This was pretty cool because it was brown for one thing and you can see the essence was a brown color and it smelled like chocolate it really did and it smelled like a good chocolate too not like a fake chocolate it smelled really good and it felt good and the all of the um essence or the martini masks are like a gel type mask they're not sheet masks they're like this really rubbery gel type and most of them are in two parts like this so they're nice and they're really I mean they're good masks I mean I can't say that they're not they're just really expensive I mean most of them are like 10 to 15 dollars each so 
they're just expensive so anyway so that is it for uh, my December sheet mask empties I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon bye